So today we're about to install a set of airbags, an onboard air compressor, and a train horn on this 2017 F-350 Dually. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna install these airbags. These came off my truck because we upgraded to the 7500s, but these 5,000 pounds will be just fine for his camper. All right, these are the airlift 5000s. We have to remove the factory bump stops and install this upper airbag plate. Okay, we have the airbags installed. There's the driver's side, and there's the passenger side. Okay, so the heart of this beast is this Viair onboard air compressor. 200 PSI system with a 2.5 gallon tank. All right, so here's our onboard compressor. It'll put out 200 PSI, and here's our 2.5 gallon tank. So we're about to install our components on our air tank. We have our pressure switch right here. This is our intake from our air compressor. We have a plug up here. We have our safety valve right here. We have our pressure out, and we have a tank drain right here. Up next, we're gonna install this Viair onboard air compressor. We're gonna install this air compressor right here above the spare tire. Okay, we have our air compressor mounted and we're ready to move on to installing the air tank. Up next, we're gonna install this Viair 2.5 gallon air tank under the truck. We've already installed all of our fittings and now we have to make some custom brackets to mount it to the bed of the truck. And to do that, we're gonna use the universal mounting kit that I ordered. Okay, we've made our brackets. Now we're gonna do a test fit and see if there's any more modifications need to be done and then we'll go ahead and install it. Okay, so there's our air compressor and there's our air tank. Now we're gonna install our manifold. Our air system only allows for two ports for options. And since we're gonna be running a remote air chuck, the train horn and remote filling station for our airbags, we went ahead and got this manifold from Viair. All right, so there's our air tank and we're gonna put the manifold right here on this cross brace. So we have our air compressor installed right there on the side of the frame rail. We have our air tank installed right above the spare tire. And right here on the bottom of this cross beam on the bed is our air manifold. So we just drilled a hole and installed this air chuck on the rear bumper. Now he will have the ability to air up his own tires and run air tools if he wants. It's time to install this train horn. We have a pretty good place we're gonna put it, but it's gonna require us to modify the mountain brackets to make it work there. So here is our modified air horn setup. 
Normally, you would have all three facing the same direction. However, the spot we had doesn't have space for that. So we're gonna face one backwards and two forwards. Right now, we're gonna mark the spot and drill some holes and tap them so that this bracket can work. Okay, we have our bracket modified and our horns are test fit. We actually have to disassemble it and reassemble it under the truck because where we're putting it is a very tight spot. Okay, so we're under the truck and there's our bracket for our air horns. There's the exhaust pipe, there's the drive shaft. Okay, there's our horns installed on the bottom of the truck. Okay, now that we have the air horns installed, we're gonna start hooking up air lines and connecting all of our components. Okay, so first thing this morning, we're gonna start wiring this system up. We're actually gonna tie it into his upfitter switches inside his cab. We're gonna make switch six for the air compressor on, and switch one is gonna be his air horn. Okay, we finished making our custom wire loom. Now we're gonna ride it under the truck and start wiring. Okay, so we've got our new wire loom pulled up under the hood. We have found our upfitter switches, which are right here on the driver's side behind this fuse box. Now we're gonna wire everything up. So this is the upfitter switches in his truck. We actually had the air compressor wire to number six to come on. And number one is our air horn. All right, so now it's time to decide where to put our gauges in the truck. I think right here is going to be a good spot. All right, we got the gauges installed. Looking pretty good. Now we're gonna hook the airlines up and get it back installed inside the truck. Okay, we have our gauges and our paddle switch installed. This is our system pressure for our air tank, and this is the pressure in our airbags. Up, airs the bags up, and down, lets the pressure out. We have our air compressor installed, and it is hooked up right here to our air tank. And from our air tank, we have this supply line leaving and supplying pressure to our manifold. This line right here leaves the manifold, runs to the back bumper to our remote air chuck. This line right here is the supply pressure to the air horn. And this right here runs to the cab for the paddle switches for the airbags. When it comes back from the cab, it comes down these lines right here and airs up the airbags. Okay, this is what it looks like with the spare tire reinstalled. The air tank is right above it. There's the manifold, and the air compressor is right over here. I'm going to show you how he can use his remote air chuck on his rear bumper to run air tools or air up his tires. Easy as that. Okay, so that's how we installed an onboard air compressor, airbags, and a train horn. If you liked what we did here, I'm gonna list all the parts in the description down below. Thanks for watching.